tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, we're going to be talking about former NFL player who actually played for the Steelers, Anthony Ciccolo, here in this video. Because Anthony Ciccolo actually got arrested by the police. He allegedly was having some type of a medical episode. He just went berserk and they had to tase him and he got arrested. I don't know exactly what's wrong with this guy, but um, apparently his um his girlfriend said that he's actually bipolar and he had a medical episode of breakdown and just went berserk. Uh, TMZ actually has a video out there of him actually getting arrested I'm not going to play it, but I will show you an image of him actually getting arrested. And this is pretty wild right here. We've been covering um, the Chandler Jones situation over there on the uh, main sports channel because Chandler Jones. Now he's no longer with the uh, Raiders. He got released. I don't know what his NFL future is going to be, but let's go ahead and jump into um, this right here on Breitbart. Former Steelers linebacker Anthony Ciccolo tased by police at Florida hospital. So yes, he was at a hospital and this is where he actually got arrested. And in the clip, you guys can go and check it out on uh, TMZ because they love the copyright stuff. There's actually like an old lady on a walker walking right past him. So this could have went pretty bad here, but it says here, Former Pittsburgh Steelers linebacker Anthony Ciccolo was tased by police at a Florida hospital Thursday after having a medical episode in a doctor's office, TMZ reported. Uh, police arrived at the Hialeah Hospital after a 911 call reported the event. The Hialeah Police Department told TMZ that Ciccolo had tried to attack everybody, including his father. Who was with him? Bystanders said Chicolo, uh, quote, suddenly snapped and began trashing an office, proceeding to break things and throw chairs. TMZ reported. And right here, you can actually see. He's actually right there. He's actually getting arrested uh, right there. Um, Don't know um, who this guy is right here. I don't know if that, that's his father or not. But that is Anthony uh, Ciccolo right there getting arrested. Man. Uh, TMZ reported that police were forced to use their tasers to subdue the former linebacker. Video shows the 30 year old Ciccolo uh, barefoot and shirtless on his knees in an elevator lobby of the hospital as police placed him in handcuffs. Uh, Ciccolo's girlfriend Tatu Baby told TMZ the former linebackers episode steamed from bipolar disorder, steaming from a concussion that he suffered during his playing days. Now, I don't I don't know anything about, um, you know, a concussion causing you to be bipolar. I don't know, because there's many people that are, that are actually a bipolar that never actually suffered a concussion. So that's what she's saying right there. I really don't have any idea. But that is uh, Anthony uh, Ciccolo right there and his girlfriend um, as well. A uh, quote, it was just a medical situation, she told the outlet. She noted that um, Ciccolo had been hospitalized and was receiving medication. No charges were filed against the former NFL player and he was not arrested. Police told the outlet that he was instead put on a 72 hour uh, psychiatric hold. Close quote. Uh, Chicolo played in the NFL for six years with the Steelers and also the New Orleans Saints and Denver Broncos before retiring in 2021. His father, Tony Chicolo, who was present at the hospital during Thursday's incident, and his grandfather, Nick Chicolo, also played for the NFL. All three men also played for the University of Miami. Anthony Ciccolo had previous run ins with the law in 2019 when he was arrested for attacking his then Canadian Olympic uh, pole vaulter um, girlfriend, Alicia Newman. Man, that is crazy. They, they got some details here 
about that um, 2019 incident. Uh, Chicolo claimed that uh, Newman punched him in the head and he responded by shoving her and knocking her to the floor. For her part, Newman, in, Newman insisted that Chicolo grabbed her by the biceps and forced her against the wall and door of the hotel room. Uh, quote, police uh, charged Chicolo with simple assault, criminal mischief and harassment. He was released on $10,000 bail. Breitbart News reported at the time. The charges against uh, Chicolo were later dropped as Newman refused to testify against him. So there you have it there. Um, another run in with the law for Anthony um, Chicolo right there. I hope that he gets the help that he needs, man. I mean, even though he's an ex NFL player, he's pretty big. He's pretty big. I believe they got some other um, pictures here as well. Um, just so you can see. Um, how big he is. I mean, he's in a mirror right there, so you really can't tell. But we know, like I said, these NFL uh, players, they're, they're pretty big. They're really big. So, man, I wish him all the best. I hope he um, does get the help uh, that he needs because that's disturbing right there. That's disturbing. He got tased because he started throwing stuff and, man, he just lost it. Definitely some type of a um, a medical condition. He definitely snapped here. But man, that is wild right there. That is wild. And his girlfriend is actually saying that he suffered a concussion that caused him to be bipolar. I, I don't know about that. I don't. Could there actually be a future lawsuit against the NFL? You know, when um these players that actually pass away and they have CTE. Remember, a bunch of them actually sued the NFL. So I don't know if he has CTE or anything like that. I mean, she's saying bipolar. I mean, is it possible that he could actually end up um, suing the NFL? You know, because it caused him to be bipolar. I have my questions about that. I really do. But you never know, man. You never know. Another former NFL player now having some problems. I mean, this is crazy right here. And we, we talked about Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown says he has CTE, but I highly doubt that he actually does. I mean, he's pretty crazy. He's pretty nutty, but we'll never know because that kind of stuff, you know, you can't diagnose until a person is actually um deceased. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.